Well, all right then. Well, the underlying energy is the Ace of Swords. So there's some things happening, all right? Well, not necessarily. This has nothing to do with happening anything, right? This is truth. This is talking about, you know, yeah, like I said, truth. Um, new perspective, new ideas, new way of communicating. Victory through the truth, though. That's one of the things I like. The King of Cups. This is perhaps a new way of communicating regarding how you feel. We could also be having new ideas about, regarding what your ideal partner is, you know. Um, who you're in love with this person can be very much in love with you as you are with them That's why the king of cups could be coming up for them You may have some sort of new way of communicating that or you have some ideas regarding something that you love You know Capricorn. I know people don't realize this about you, but you guys can be like hella romantic Because nobody can really see it. Nobody ever sees it coming You're like you guys kind of have this like cool calm demeanor like yeah, I think it's pretty chill and everything but then you whip out those like I don't know what you do. You just whip out yourself, and everybody's like, "Oh snap! I didn't. Oh my gosh! Like let's slow down off his feet." Men and women, okay, y'all just blow people away with your romance, and I don't think everybody realizes that romantic streak y'all have. Okay, just straight. It's, I'm just saying, just saying. Your current state of being, though, is the Three of Swords. So yeah, there's some little stuff coming up, some little pain, some little issues. Okay. Um, there, yeah, there's, I think there's something that's probably triggered this, something that's triggered these old issues. But we love triggers, right? We love triggers because why? They show us what the problems are so we can fix them. They, can, they show what we've got going on in our hearts that may be blocking us from being able to manifest what we've been wanting to manifest. And then you have here in your out, you know, your, not your necessarily outcome, but your desired outcome, your wish, your wants, your hope, your goal and vision, right? This is about taking a journey, leaving it behind. Perhaps you're done with this old issue. You're dealing with it every day, gone day, perhaps, and you're just like, you know what? I'm ready to move on. Perhaps this is what you guys want. You guys want to move on. You guys want to move away. Uh, away from those issues, right, and fully and completely be done with them. Not necessarily just move away, and try to get, try, try to escape it, but you want to be done with it. I feel like you want to move to a place where there is room for prosperity, um, for you guys to grow your crops in a better, in, in a a healthier soil instead of soil that you're familiar with, but know it's kind of tainted. But the thing that's keeping you guys from being able to move on is the lack of action that's being taken. Mm, the tower is in there. Tower is in your current is in, is in that space where there's blockages, obstacles, things that keep you from your desired outcome, and the action is the part that's not being done right now. There's clarity through the truth, right? There's a lot of thinking being done. There's a lot of thinking that's caused a lot of pain, but there was not a lot of action. There's not a lot of thinking that's provoking the action here. Okay. And the reason why the tower is in the way, right, there's not, not, not a lot of action, is because there hasn't really been a decision about where to go. There hasn't really been a decision about where you guys want to take this relationship or where you guys want to go or far, as far as the relationship goes. There's no decision being made right now, okay? Um, I think perhaps you guys were stuck at a crossroads and unfortunately maybe you guys have stayed at a crossroads and it's probably because you looked at these old issues and they thought man i gotta think i don't know because you know the future is great and all but if you got this lingering around it's gonna be hard to move on so could be that this the old pains are like in regards to getting back together or moving in their direction towards a relationship maybe the situation for some of you guys is that your partner had a third party right because you do have the Three of Cups and Three of Swords, and I do see that as kind of a third-party situation. Um, some of you guys maybe have dealing with they're dealing with some sort of past energy that definitely showed that you may have had some old issues come up, right? Um, regarding you know relationships and loyalty, but I feel like the Three of Cups talks about connecting with people connecting with like-minded souls connecting with individuals that have your back because this is the you know this is the three cups this is about community close-knit groups social circles right letting people help you sometimes as well this could be friends but the situation seems very personal nobody can really help you with the three of swords to be believe, believe it or not unless this is a relationship right this may require you guys to reconnect spend some time together spend some quality time together spend happiness together right to do something that's fun and not so serious um and perhaps that can help for those of you that are in relationships right 
Um, but this is also talking about reunion, reuniting with someone. Perhaps it's time to just reunite with the person from the past and kind of wrap things up. But at the same time, I don't necessarily think that's the case. I feel like, I don't think the situation is necessarily over. I don't think you want it to wrap it up or close the cycle, or close it down. Because the I don't think this is necessarily a fear of the Wheel of Fortune. This is the second time around. This is the second go around. I'll show you the card and I'm skipping ahead, I know. But the Wheel of Fortune shows that this is the second time around, right? A new opportunity. A new beginning. Not necessarily that you're wanting to bring stuff up to cause closure. If that was the case, I would have saw justice, right? Justice is all about slapping down that contract saying, all right, you guys agree to not be like this anymore. We forgive each other. Let it go. It's in the past. That's not what that is. You ain't hoping for that. You ain't hoping for things to close up. You were hoping probably to get back together with somebody you felt something for. These old, these three issues perhaps has a lot to do with, you know, you know, maybe regarding this connection. Right? But the thing here is your best path to follow is connecting. It could also be that there may need to be some celebration. Perhaps there's a lot of serious energy that you've been going through for a while. It's time to have some fun. Have a little bit more enjoyment in your life. But I really feel like it has nothing to do with connecting with someone. But let, we'll, we'll move on, right? Now, in your feelings, you have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, to me, in your feelings, talk about talks about being exhausted. You honestly, you put up a wall, and you honestly don't remember why you have the wall. Well, why you even built that wall in the first place, or necessarily not necessarily built the wall, but why you, you know you know what you're building the wall for. It's almost like this period of time, right? There is this period. Obviously, I said period like sixty-five thousand times. My bad, y'all. But it feels like right now you guys are a bit defensive, especially regarding your heart. You've been hurt before. You've been you've felt sad before. You've had heartache before, potentially because it was a third party situation. You're not necessarily so open to starting something new, but that's just the thing, right? That's just the thing. I don't. I think that you, obviously I, I feel like you guys understand this is in the past, but this wall is keeping anything and everything to come, you know, from being able to come into your life right but this is also the closest to the cycle that you're going to get right regarding this right this is very close to the cycle ending of it anyway and i feel like at the same time right this is not necessarily like building up a wall and forgetting that you have you know you know not necessarily forgetting anything because the person doesn't here doesn't forget you build up a wall to protect yourself because you know there's a lot of stuff happening but you still are very passionate about what it is that you've been fighting for for quite some time and i feel like you guys have been fighting for something for a long time you guys have built this you know a little bit of a, a tougher exterior but you know what your truth is you know what you want you know what you're fighting for and i feel like you haven't given up on it even in the past so that's what kind of really kind of like so it could be a third party situation but at the same time, I feel like it probably isn't for some of you guys. And maybe that there's just some old issues regarding some sort of past relationship or whatever. But you guys really want to connect with this individual again because you haven't given up. Right? There's an, this, this is non-given up energy. And it goes hand in hand with the Wheel of Fortune. You've been working very hard, really diligently. And I don't think you're trying to keep this opportunity out. For some of you guys, it very well could be. You very well could be trying to defend it out and be like, nope, I'm good. I don't want to reconnect. But for some of you guys, it is reconnection. You guys want to reconnect. You guys have been working very hard and diligently to reconnect. But again, it can it may not be because you have the six of swords as your goal. You know, your 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 um your desired outcome. You want to move on. You want to you know go the distance. You know, you want to leave something familiar behind and travel to calmer waters, leave the turbulence turbulent waves alone right you want to be able to be at peace and be able to start fresh in a new in a new land so your outcome is showing the seven of wands okay and the seven of wands here is that is another defensive card but it's one that you can defend right you feel a little bit more um in power right and more in control of your situation you have a bit of, of an advantage and it's because potentially of the new beginning, this new new perspective that you've got. And then you also, you know, you're protecting something. 
you, you're, you know, you feel more protective potentially because you are able to do what you felt that you needed to do to be able to move on and move forward. Okay. But it's very interesting, Cap. Really, it really is. It really is. Um, let me go ahead and pull you guys your wisdom of the oracle for this week. See what y'all get. Let me know if this resonates as well. Time to go. Time to go, folks. Time to go. Scorpio got that for them as well. You may be dealing with Scorpio, but I don't see Scorpionic cards in here. All I see is Mars and Jupiter. Well, Jupiter is in Scorpio, so and Mars is in Aquarius, um, going into Capricorn. So yeah, it has a lot to do with the past here with a lot of your energies. If retrograde Mars going retrograde back into your sign it means that there's some reviewing of some actions that you may have taken in the past. You may be doing something over and over again, or doing something that you may have done already. But this is like, are you sure you want to do it? Because you have perspective here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and take a look here at your whispers of love. See what comes up for that. Then I'm going to clarify the three of cups. Because I want a little more information with that one. And the town can also talk about there's something happened unexpectedly that kind of that kind of put you in a position of you know you know of of a crossroads situation, but I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. For maybe for some of you guys, but not for all of you. But new love. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or and or spiritual growth. Or maybe both. Shoot, with this energy being so strong and people sleeping so much and feeling sleepy, I believe it's both. New love, y'all. Perhaps this is a situation where new love is on the horizon with potentially someone that you already know. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the three of pentacles, like I was saying. Three of cups, rather, because I wanted to clarify that a little bit more. Just because I'm nosy and I want to know what's going on. Why, why, why is Capricorn, why do Capricorns got the three of cups here? Why does Capricorn have three cups here? Why does Capricorn have three cups here? Why does Capricorn have three cups here? Why does Capricorn have the three of cups here? Thank you. The eight of swords. Okay. Eight of swords, and then underneath that is the ten of swords. The situation, whatever happened, is in the past. It's on. It's done. It hurt very badly, and it was very devastating. It was like cut and dry kind of thing. Um, and I don't think it was very well recovered because of the three of swords here. All the issues are coming up with that. But the eight of swords is being cl is clarifying the three of cups. And it's almost like, you know, three of cups is coming up because there you don't see a way, you don't see an option. You don't see very many options because you feel trapped in your thoughts. Ah, just do it. That's pretty much what it's saying. Just do it. If this is about connecting with an individual again, just do it. If this is about connecting with people, going out on dates, doing something lighthearted and fun, just do it. Because you're gonna think it. You're gonna over. You're gonna think yourself out of it. If that makes sense. You're gonna logically think of ways to not do it. And I feel like the reasons why you're gonna logically think your way out of doing it is because of these old issues. Don't let yourself do that. I know you're feeling tired and exhausted and you've been through a lot, but this is the, I feel like this is seriously saying you haven't given up. You haven't let go of it yet. You are not done with the situation. Well, the fortune. Allow yourself to at least learn from your mistakes or learn from, not necessarily from your mistakes, but learn from the mistakes of others or learn, or not necessarily, learn something. You, you always learn something from every situation, every event, even if it wasn't your fault. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to require you guys to, you know, just not overthink it and just go for it. Go for it. 